look at me? The next second he burst out in laughter, making him confused. I'm sorry, sorry, how could I forget my buddy? I feel that I couldn't review our friendship and her in front of her boss. Why did I act? Why? Why did you act? Because our court rules have prohibited every kind of relation and friendship in office. According to him, he sees us for work, not for gossip. If he found out about us, then he would have fired you before joining. This is also the reason of knowing in the office now about your secret marriage and also it was private ceremony without any paparazzi or so. What kind of person he is? He went over to chair before sitting, he gestured him to sit as well. Strict. If he saw anyone gossiping, he'd cut your salary. The biggest mistake, the biggest amount will be cut from your salary. One more thing, you have only three chances. On the third one, you will get fired. That's why this is on the number one in top companies of Korea. Hmm, he thought he'd take position only two years ago, but he's managing really well. I see, but what if he caught us two talking? Oh no, it's not time to chill. Wait, let me treat you with lunch. He nodded as he called and ordered your food there. Well, tell me about yourself. Nothing much. After graduation, I joined her as an employee four years ago, but then I got promoted a year ago, and here I am now as your manager. Whoa, cool, Bauti. But didn't your father work here too? Yeah, so what? Do you meet us here because of my father? No, no, I'm just asking. Hmm, he did as Mr. Jun's secretary, but that manager soon left his position. My father worked with Mr. Jun since he became CEO, but he liked my father because of his dedication to his work and always treated him like his friend. He also knew me since childhood and treated me like his daughter, but whatever I'm right now is on my behalf. Well, he asked my dad for my marriage with Jungkook and I couldn't deny my dad as he's the only person left after my mom dad. And also Jungkook was my idea dad, so I agreed. After being married for one month, I had gained little bit feelings for him, but I don't know about Jungkook. On Earth Lion, oh sorry, um, what about you? You didn't contact me after high school? Um, you know how my father's life was? God just two part-time jobs to take care of his expenses and never got time. Oh, how is he now? He must be happy that he got a stable job. He's no more. He left us in to fulfill his dream. I worked hard. There was sadness in his eyes as he was shocked. Oh my, Jack, why you didn't contact me? I don't want to be a burden. It wasn't burden, Jack. And what about your mother? She's here in Seoul, living with me. Hmm, I'll come someday. And don't hide anything, please. I'll not. We'll talk later about this. Now, tell me what I have to do. He wiped his little tears before smiling as he too didn't want to make environment awkward by bringing his past, so he shrugged it. Yeah, let's talk about work now. It's been a month since that new Jack guy joined here. I didn't feel to notice how wine is getting close to him. They often eat lunch together, even a hangout, even though wine is an introvert. But what is that he did on my wine? Yeah, I was the one who kept our relation secret. But now I'm regretting it. That guy's literally dating my patient. Ah, uh, what are you doing to me, Wyan? I really liked her since a long time, and I was the one who asked my father to call me married with Wyan. But I'm too much go work to confess it to her. Oh sure, today he'll have even more chances to bring around Wyan. But today I'll not let her go away from me, even for a second. I mumbled to myself while waiting for Wyan to come downstairs. Yeah, Wyan, come down or I'm going. Glancing over his first time to dawn, I finally sat and decided to check up on her. But the next second I heard speaking sound of heels and there she is, my beautiful wife. I want you to have her. She's too pretty. Every moment I see her, I feel her more than ever. Let's go. Jim. Jungkook. Jungkook. Oh, you don't have to shout. Let's go. Sighing deeply, we walked forward. Wait. Hearing his voice, he turned around and saw him walking near you. Grabbing your shoulders, he turned you, back facing him. Coming closer, he moved your hair, letting them fall on your right shoulder. What are you doing, Jung? Your voice came out and whispered. Soon you saw his fingertips coming in contact with your bare back. Realization struck you hard. The crimson shade started appearing on your cheeks. But was that because of your first man or his heart raced? I still sit there, do you? Yes, I see it was in a hurry, but it's not much that I start to showing everyone what's fine. Your hands closed tightly on your dress.
breath, his fingertip wasn't enough that were connected with your bare back, so his deep voice adds more spice in that. Current warmth from your spine, your breath hitched as his hand held it on top of your skull. Take care of my things all night. He was praying again, he walked out, leaving your frozen body there. Entering the party with Jungkook which is arranged by himself, everyone's giving you weird looks as expected. You ask him to fill in for a and he's gone, but he did not, and you have to add weird in his stubbornness. Smiling, you made your way towards your colleague. But before you could, a head on your waist pulled you back, knowing whose hand was that, your eyes widened. Moving more closely, you whispered, What are you doing, Mr. Chun? Holding my wife, Mr. Chun, my hand. Come on, let me introduce you. You blushed at Mr. Chiyun, why he had indeed it was the first time he was addressing you by this name. Ignoring everyone's sister, he took you to introduce you to his business partners and friends. What's wrong with him? It's time for it's time and you don't know what to do. He expected that you'll spend great time in party and enjoy, but here your husband is not leaving you for a second. He couldn't understand why he's behaving this way and is sticking to you. Let me go now, I am bored. No, you stay. We have to meet more people. But why the heck are you introducing me as your wife? Because I want to. And aren't you my wife? So what's wrong with it? You are more difficult than maths to understand. Ignoring only a very thick half his poker face. Looming your eyes around, you found Jack talking with some other employees. I want to go to washroom. You won't like come along, right? Hmm, go. Sighing to relieve you went to restroom. Finding Jack cook this way, you went to Jack. Yeah, now you can't take risks to go to college. Hey, Jackie. Oh, fine. Where were you? Busy with Mr. Jun? Oh, actually, he was just talking about business. Yeah. Yes, you can't reveal it by yourself without Jungkook's consent. Oh, by the way, you're looking beautiful. Um, thanks. Um, Wayne, I want to say something, can I? Oh, sure. Why ask him? He seemed hesitant, but the next moment you saw him on his knees holding a little box with ring in it, your mind was persisting. I actually wanted. I want to say this is when we were in high school, but the situation was different. Well, life gave me one chance again that I made you luckily. And this time I'll not let this chance go. So, Wyan, will you be mine? I, I love you. You couldn't have found words as you were fighting whether you tell him that you mattered or not. You don't know what to do. Meanwhile, Jungkook was talking with his friend. He actually attended him to your direction, which definitely was not pleasant to his eyes. Hey, isn't she one? He's proposing his wife? This guy passed his own limits. Groaning in anger, he made his way to you before you could have spoke anything. His arm encircled around your waist. Do you know what are you doing? Huh? How dare you do? Next to his anger, his anger issues are hell, but you really don't like to be burned in that hell. That's it. Why you get silent? Oh, what's wrong? I was just... Just what, huh? Just proposing my wife? His word made everyone get there, including you. Oh, wife? Why and you hurt? Yes, she's married to me. And I'm saying this to everyone here. She's given Jungkook's wife, Jiyun Wayan. She belongs to me and she's only mine. Everyone better keep this in mind or no one will be worse than me. The situation was awkward. You felt that you could jack, but I let you talk it out. About the other mess, you didn't have to worry about as your husband is not for them. You pulled by him as he left the party and maybe sat in passenger seat before settling himself and driving soon. You roughly towards your gladly respond, his hand went to the zip of your dress, but realization hit you and he pushed him. He began confused yet sad, but looked down, thinking you didn't like it. I'm sorry, Lion, I shouldn't have done this without your consent. He was about to walk away, but you held his hand. Did you mean that? Wait, whatever you say in the party and this kiss, do you love me? Your eyes teared up, he immediately held your cold hand. Hey, why am? I meant everything, and I, I really do love you. Then why you never showed any affection towards me? Why did you never make me feel that you loved me? I'm sorry if I make you feel unloved. Actually, I was the one who sent proposal to you for marriage, but I was 
too much introvert to confess to you and after marriage, I wanted to give you time for accepting me and our relation. I didn't want you to rush things and made you uncomfortable, but in this process, I didn't realize I was hurting you. I'm sorry, Maya. When Derek also still from his eyes, we were shocked to hear his words and seeing him cry for the first time. Is that also for you? It's okay, don't cry. I understand. He wiped his tear with his thumb as he looked up. Maya, just give me one chance to prove my love for you. Let me show you how much I love you. He nodded before pulling him in another sock. I love you too. He mumbled in between the kiss and he smiled before kissing you deeply. He tapped on your thighs as he jumped on him. He threw you on the back before hovering over. 